You know what? Fuck it. We're starting again. Welcome back to the Professionally Hot Podcast. As you can see, us. You can see us. It's great. It's <laughs> we're us. professionals in the industry, and we're recording this over and over again until we get it right, and it's fine, and we've got it right this time. It's the lucky, it's the third time is a charm kind of vibe. So we're talking about AVN today. And yes. you know what? I'm just going to let you... Welcome back to our second season, first of all. First episode, second season. AVNs just happen. If you don't know what that is, Ashley T is going to tell you right now. <laughs> I I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the gamut. I'm gonna give you a teeny tiny tidbit of uh, history because I am the history teacher um, in this fucking podcast. Uh, so there's yes. actually like I don't actually fun fact I don't know the history of this shit whatsoever. I just went and got blackout every year for like four years straight. But that is um, the history. <laughs> Yeah. What does AVN yeah. stand for? Because we say the AVN Awards. It's the Adult Video Network. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> Attempting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't. You can't throw up gang signs, I guess. I'm too not in gang in a gang. <laughs> no. 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 I also don't have any finger dexterity, but that's an aside. Uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> Fingers. <laughs> fingers. I don't have any fingers. I don't have any fingers. I think I like this little life. <laughs> no hands. <laughs> oh my god, Kenneth, we can't make fun of people with no hands. Some people don't have hands. I'm, not, I'm making fun of us for having okay. hands. Okay, that makes sense. Hands that don't actually do yeah. anything. My guy, I can't make it. They hit. don't. I'm just a girl. I can't do it. Um, you probably can. Oh, oh, it's backwards. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. So the the Adult Video Network uh, effectively every year puts on a porn Oscars. It's it's an it's a mm -hmm. video awards ceremony where they hand out normal awards like best director, best leading actress <laughs> in normal film. Awards. Well, they yeah, do. So they have. Kidding. I they mean, do, like but, yes. Like, it's Poor, poor. Yes, I know, but I, like to the people that can can only relate to the Oscars, it's, it's like, true. what do they even do? Yeah, we have film of the year and like best director, best whatever. There's also definitely like best gangbang, best anal, best girl girls. <laughs> best like, I mean, tits. it's the fucking best. Is there a yeah. best tits category? Just fucking who got the They're jobs absolute... in 2020? Yeah, who's got the best fucking titties? Who's fucking on the map right Supreme. now? Supreme. Yeah. Um, and it's to, a red carpet event. I would event. not want to be. I would not want to be a judge for that because I'd be like, every girl wins. <laughs> every <laughs> best uh, you know what we love. It, I, how am I supposed to judge? And they're like, that's literally yeah, my job. Um, <laughs> yeah, rude. Like, oh. Also, uh, rude. Okay. Yeah. Mm, rude. <laughs> I like them all. So <laughs> I like every oh, yes. single one of them. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of awards, and it is definitely it's it's a legit award ceremony. Yeah, it, it's not just it, like. It, a little like tiny teeny bobber one like you we're in a giant fucking place and a theater up on stage and yeah and like accept yeah. your awards and we have um actual people that are doing the hosting we have yeah porn hosts which is really yeah. fun to see really cool. all the hot girls and then they usually hire like a comedian and a musical guest yeah Shall we go through the musical guests that we have seen? Oh my god, okay. Yes, girls? yes, but also just in just to give like a just a final full picture like this, this is absolutely like a red carpet event. And I remember being yeah. surprised a little bit by, you know, because I mean, anybody out there would have preconceived notions about like what a porn red carpet would look like. Um, this is a yeah. this is a like this is an affair. This is like it is. A, a ball gown. Like I've never had an opportunity to dress like that and probably won't ever again in my life. Like sequin ball gown kind of uh, kind of affair. Yeah. It's a it's a beautiful evening. Um uh and and in and around that before the awards, there is a three day convention um that has grown and changed over the years and changed a lot over the years that um you and I were there. Um, yeah. let's kick it off. Let's just by, let, let's talk about like the caliber of musical guests then, because, yeah. you know, it, it, we're not just like hiring like random ass, like people as our like musical performers. No, they're like legit fucking like 
f- famous people that yeah, they just like, like hired real for famous us people. for a very small group. Like the My Free Cams girls really got treated the best, in my opinion. I, I can say that because I was we were both in it. Yeah. I don't know what the yeah. other people experienced outside in their yeah. own cam industry jobs and stuff, but mm-hmm. we had first year I went. We had Flow Ride. Was that your first year? Or did you go a year before too? I went a year before. Um, but I didn't go to any of the parties because I was petrified. (laughs) Oh, fair. Yeah. I mean, it's intimidating. It's not an easy thing to go to, especially if you aren't Mm. like, if you don't have a lot of friends, if you're, I really give the girls that go for the first time by themselves and they're just like show up and like try and make friends. I think that's so impressive because I could never like ballsy as I knew I was going with girls. Yeah. Like that's, that's wild. Yeah. so if you didn't go to the first year, then your first experience was Flow Rider like me. Yep, absolutely. And I was like, ah, fuck yeah, Flow Rider. Yeah, it. it was hilarious. I still remember the outfit that I wore that night. Like it was like I remember like being like I'm gonna have. I bought clothes specifically for AVN. You know, we're like yeah, oh yeah. I think the I, like the, the last two years I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a dress, and the rest of my clothing are things I already have because it's expensive. It's not like a cheap trip. You know, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot that goes into it, but. Florida oh, and it's in Las Vegas. One. Yeah, so you're just spending, <laughs> like, not only are you drained mentally, but you're also drained financially, yeah. constantly. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we had Flo Rida first, which was very funny. Um, I just remember being like, it, mind you, this is a like a small. Uh, what what room is this in? First of all, it was at the Hard Rock Hotel. Okay. Okay. Hard yeah. Hard Rock's not yeah. there anymore. Yeah. No. So, so all we, had... year we went and what? Okay. What what years were we there? I know my first, technically the first year that I went was January of 2016. But like I said, I did not go. I have a picture to... of us, which I can oh actually my God. show yes. on here, okay. which is exciting. It's the first picture that me, you, and Astra all took together. Oh and the God. date on it is January 26, 2017. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, and my caption is, stick your tongue out like a lady. This was in front of the bad dragons, which are the giant fucking dildos. <laughs> yeah, the scary monster looking Very ones. Fun. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so I went I went on my own. Actually, not on my own. I went with a group of non-industry friends, um, mostly just to do a Vegas too. trip, but also because I wanted to check it out. Uh, I went to the convention for two fucking seconds, got overwhelmed and left. So like I, we did one walk oh, no. on the convention floor um, and then and then that was that. Like I I didn't do any of the rest of the, the convention whatsoever. Yeah, that's fair. It's definitely intimidating if you have not been before and yeah. you don't really know what to expect in the beginning because it's just like it's overwhelming. There's so much shit going on. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to think of like what the room where the, all of our, it was like a bar. Oh like, what, yeah. What, it wasn't yes. a theater, okay. but it had a stage. Like I'm trying no, to. No, no. So let me, like, let's, let's set the stage here. Okay. So the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas was off the strip by a little bit. All right. Yeah, if you know R. where R. Taco P. Bell is. Yeah. RP. Mm-hmm. You know where the fucking Taco Bell is on the strip. If you just walked into the fucking desert for a while and then <laughs> yeah. ta-da you have found the hard rock hotel so it's kind of off the beaten <laughs> path a little true. bit yeah, um, I was like, okay yeah it's true there's just like nothing like a huge empty lot and then like this jan- like not okay it wasn't a janky ass hotel but it certainly wasn't like the ritz no. um which no, made it the Venetian? perfect home for us yeah yeah oh yeah it was the it was the best place i could have had yeah porn <laughs> happening yeah. live <laughs> yeah in a yeah. hotel but then you yeah. have like the venetian where you're like oh this is really fancy in here and then yeah. you have yeah the hard rock where yeah like, which was uh it's it was approachable okay. let's call it that it was it was an approachable yeah space. i agree um yeah. rock and roll yeah. themed decently priced restaurants where you can hang around and like a just your standard ass vegas casino floor and then yeah. as many vegas hotels had a very large convention center area Um, And within that area, obviously, there's like a huge con floor, like two or three huge convention sized rooms Um, and then two theaters. So the main theater for the awards was, um, you know, it was a a multi storied building um, with balcony seating and then like whole sloping to floor ceiling uh, floor seating. So like what you'd imagine the Oscars to look like, like same kind of room 
like that mm -hmm. um, with, you know, a fatty Pretty center fancy. stage. Very fancy, yeah. really, really pretty. Um, and then on the main floor, like kind of connected to the convention area, but still private, was like, it was a club. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, essentially okay, a club. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a club. It was just like a small yeah. club. It was, it's just a yeah. weird place to think about now because yeah. I'm like, why did they just have those, like, why did the Hard Rock just even have giant convention <laughs> center rooms? Were they like aware that all the... Like people were going to be like, we need to have conventions here. Cause I just don't understand like, yeah. why they have Oh yeah, no, <laughs> but absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Oh my God. We have to even, wait. the concrete <laughs> convention, the concrete convention. Yeah. Yes. There's multiple Lots conventions, of conventions going on in Vegas. <laughs> Vegas is huge for conventions, right? Like, and yeah. the concrete guys were there more than once and we'll come, we'll swing back around to the weirdness. But like, if you are listening <laughs> yeah. to this and you happen to be in the, in the industry of concrete, uh, probably lovely to have maybe seen you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining us in Vegas. Those guys are okay, so we're there. in this club type room where there's yes. like, there's we have like probably a hundred. I would say there's a hundred cam girls um, from MFC that are at these events. Probably maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but like it's not it's not a crazy amount of girls. You're not like you're not fighting to see the stage. It is a club area, no. so it's smaller and. It's just for MFC girls. You cannot go if you're their partner. No, they, we've tried. Believe me, we were like, please let one of our friends in. But it's a no. Like, it's just for the girlies. And I'm very appreciative of those because they're, we saw tons of people that I would never be able to see in concert because it would be so expensive that it's just like not yeah. worth it. Yeah. It's insane that we got to see those people and have such yeah, a small like group around us and our friends just like wild but that was our like experience. okay yeah just to fucking flex because it was a flex we saw um yeah. Flo Rida first of all if you got shit to say about Flo Rida you were joking yourself banger after banger yeah. after banger all right if you're like, <laughs> didn't Flo he try Rida, to jump <laughs> didn't like he try off to the jump stage onto the camera girls <laughs> like, I, I, I think I kind of vaguely her. remember that and I'm like I do you realize too, most of like... us are like 5'2 right like this is not gonna work yeah <laughs> like we're not um, gonna be able to keep you up dog it was Flo Rida one year, and then... We had uh, Kehlani. Um, we had Oh, Cardi yeah. Yeah. We had um, Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. How could I and forget? And then that was fucking... We'll get into that That was that the best one. Big time. That, that was, was the so best. Cool. Yeah, that was definitely the best one. We had Diplo. Oh, yeah. Diplo and Doja Cat <laughs> were the same year, right? Yes, yes. And then we had Little Pump also joined on stage during the actual awards, random. which was really strange. Um, no, but yeah, we like got just... the best of the best. Like, amazing yeah. performances. I think they had Iggy Azalea this year. Is that her name? This year, yeah. I, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Did. I didn't see Cardi B because I was sick, but I do know that, like, a lot of people had fun. We yeah. were just, like, very lucky to be able to, like, have these private concerts, like, for no reason. Yeah. Just because they paid... They paid them to like be like, go yeah, perform for the girls, did. you know? They did. Like, and this, so this you. is sort of how it went, right? Like, this is also what made it buck fucking wild. Okay, so as long as you were an MFC, you needed to have been a performer for a certain amount of time, like a month. Yeah, I think it was like, yeah, I think that you just had to prove that you had made tokens in a certain amount of time in the past. Yeah, like, six like the standards were low as fuck, all things considered. So if you yeah. were an MFC uh, performer, if you were an MFC cam girl, um, you could apply through the website to attend AVN for the first few years. That's all you needed to do. You just needed to attend and they would submit your badge information and you would roll up to the hotel on day one of the convention or the day before, pick up your little badge on your lanyard that said your name, and then you got full access to yes, the everything. convention, to the award ceremony, to the MFC girl only private parties. Like that was mm -hmm. that was the like I can imagine Doja Cat performing for like the the whole industry event thing. Yeah. But like we got our own full Saturday night or whatever that Friday night. Um, mm -hmm. that was just for us MFC girlies. Yeah, which is which so is wild. Like, wild. Like, there were, there may, yeah. maybe, like, for maybe 200 of us at any given time. Maybe. I just, like, feel like that, it just felt so small. Like, you pretty much knew, <laughs> are you hiding or vaping? I'm not vaping. <laughs> By the end of this season, I will have quit. 
I something that I've I'm got, not doing. I'm right just now. using my little health vape. Shout out to health vapes. Yeah. Um, but healthy. yeah, they. Uh, I don't remember there being. It just doesn't feel like there was that many girls. You kind of like definitely no. knew for the most part everyone that was there. Um, lots yeah. of girls just like making out, getting raunchy. Like oh, it like, was yeah. Oh, okay. we'll get into the trash because it got it, as you can imagine. <laughs> you put a bunch of uh, like won't call us particularly basement dwelling but like you know lots of us didn't really leave our houses we're really well, I just hot, think it's like like, perfect... we're like indoor hot girls <laughs> yeah no i agree and i think that it's like us being in a situation where like yes when you're at the convention you're doing stuff you want people to tip you want people to like find you to like watch you and yeah. stuff especially like in a live setting but then like to also be in these private settings where like no one's watching it's for us we still oh. are like giant fucking sluts in the best way possible making out with every single fucking girl we can all of us drinking not even ourselves like, not... dry yes oh by the way not only that open bar mm-hmm. yeah it's open... very dangerous remember when open they tried to bar. not let us have an open bar i still have the video uh, yeah. of us sitting in the limo and you're like turn the music down and everyone's like what and you're like it's an open bar and it's just us all screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that whole time so too. Excited. Yeah. So the first, the first few years that we were there um, and we'll go through the history of it, as you can imagine. All right. Giving a bunch of fucking insane women. If the season, if the first season of this podcast did not really encompass how uh, not wholesome, both <laughs> Kenneth and I are. Okay. <laughs> apply that generally speaking to most of the mfc girly population and even those that were there that maybe weren't mm, binge drinkers at the time you give them bitches an open bar and a whole bunch of social anxiety and everybody gets fucking demolished right away yeah Um, plus it's fucking vegas so like yeah we're already you're already doing a lot you know yeah and not only that but they brought food to the parties too which was very helpful yeah i needed so us finding out that they were going to no, 100%. You need to make sure that you're fueled in some way and you forget to eat because yeah. you're just doing so much stuff. But the fact that they were trying to make the bar not an open bar at first pissed us off. We were yeah. like, this we literally make this site. Yeah, we make this site so much fucking money. Like, how could you not give us just like simple things like free alcohol when like we literally supply your entire lives? Like, I'm sorry, but it was but not a good decision if you remember part. if you remember the whole time i was like that's a lie there's no way there's yeah. no way they're gonna do yeah. that there's absolutely no way that is bullshit it's not gonna happen and like people were like ashley t look we know how determined you are to drink for free here okay we understand <laughs> that this is clearly deeply important to you but yeah. it's not looking like they're gonna give us an open bar i was like it's gonna fucking happen and ken's is right yeah we we're in a limo on our way off from the airport. I checked my fucking phone and I was like, yeah, guess what? guys, <laughs> it's an open fucking bar. And we were like, it's all downhill from there. Mm-hmm, 100%. Yeah. The reasons, the reasons um, for them uh, not having an open bar happened precisely five days after that, when I fell down a flight of stairs, we'll get into that later also though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Good times. <laughs> so, uh, so musical performers, amazing. Love that for us. Yeah, we were very super blessed, cool. and I appreciate MFC for those things. Because, like I said, I, we wouldn't have had those. I wouldn't be able to see Little Wayne. No. Little Wayne's like my was my dream to see. And, oh my like, god! He said hi to fucking... me. He said hi to me. <laughs> Emily Tokes lifts me above the crowd. I'm in the back of the fucking room. He lifts. She lifts me above the crowd. He's in the middle of saying something, and I just go hi. <laughs> he goes he goes hey and i was like i'm pregnant (laughs) yeah immaculate conception immediately um yeah yeah, these these parties it's just as like a small it's 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 a good little small intro taste into how Mm -hmm. fucking insane the weekends were the weeks were um yeah so i think maybe to help refresh both of our memories and bring back some fucking insanity I want to just for both of our sakes, like give the general breakdown of what happened every year, like the 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 schedule. More yeah, start to finish, kind of thing. Yeah, start to finish. Yeah. So, um, the convention was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Correct. I it think was. so. 
Yeah. Because yeah, the because the award show was Saturday night. That was yeah. like the closing thing. It was the right. Saturday. Yeah. We'd always uh, get there yeah, like a so, Wednesday or something just yeah. to be there. So we usually <laughs> would fly in. You know, we would spend months planning, figuring out hotels, whether or not we were going to stay in the Hard Rock, stay elsewhere. We did a combination of this over the years. But we mm -hmm. would get our crew together, fly in on the Tuesday or the Wednesday, get from the airport to the hotel, which was always... You are so okay. fucking popular, dude. It's my alarm to wake up. <laughs> Girl, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. It's 2.30 for me here. I'm not that depressed anymore, okay? We're, we're growing. No, she's totally fine. She's actually completely yeah. fine. Um, Totally fine. Uh, Yeah, we'd fly in. We'd fly in on the, the Tuesday, the Wednesday, get settled. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday was the conventions with some sort of party each night. Um, mm -hmm. There was the kickoff party, which was a penthouse party. We'll get all into how fucking insane these were. Uh, and that was the <laughs> Thursday night. The Friday night was the concert night in the club. And then the right. Saturday was the awards that led into the closing penthouse party. And then mm -hmm. by Sunday, we were all surprised to still be alive. Yeah. 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 It was... Uh... It was brave of us to be there. <laughs> Just say that. Yeah. And we the convention really itself really partied. Also, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my fucking God. Um, there are things on here that like actually are completely not acceptable to like say on the internet. Um, that yeah, but just know we were going things. hard. We were oh, raging. Yeah. We were yes, on absolutely. a different level. On a level that I could not do today. I'll just say that right now. No, I, I would die. A month. Yeah, like impressive no. to be honest Absolutely that we not. were able to keep it up um <laughs> seriously so uh doing doing <laughs> during <laughs> doing <laughs> uh yes. and there's the brain damage effects that i incurred <laughs> doing this year after year <laughs> holy fuck um the thursday friday saturday were the convention days and that allowed us time to work the mfc booth so they left us they we had and it changed over the years, but there was space for MFC girls to saddle up to a booth with our little laptops and our little webcams. Mm -hmm. And we could broadcast live to the viewers that were used to seeing us on the internet. And over yeah. the years, we even had people that uh, were core parts of our group come into the convention itself, fly out and mm -hmm. um, actually yeah, have to members. pay to be there. Um, yeah, which is insane that they should they should have had some sort of at least discount to be honest, like something dude, that was like you spent all this money on our site. Thank you for doing that. Here's your free pass into the convention, not to the awards, yeah. not to the parties, just to the fucking convention, just to the like, fucking just con. It, to it was so ex it was like three hundred dollars for the weekend. Like, it was yeah, so no, it's expensive. Insane. And then these people are like, think about Tia, one of our main guys, flying out from fucking Sweden from like, Sweden. Me. Yeah, oh, like Jesus insane. Christ. So. But like yeah. so much fun to be with the guys to like have them kind of hang out to also be like some sort of safe space like where you have them in your room so often and then like all of a sudden they're just like in front of you and like it's so like wholesome like it they, was I feel like so in ways them, that i yeah. never expected no um, like i think there's some sort of like safe like boundary that they understand and like I think that just as much as we were appreciative of them, they're also very appreciative. Like we hang, hung out with them. Like we'd go to the bars so and, poop and like go take shots. So and like, it fun. wasn't, it wasn't weird. It was always just like, yeah, like we're friends, you know? So very appreciative yeah. of those moments too. Yeah. Lots yeah. of cool people. And then the girls, you have so many girlfriends and like, you're just doing constant things with them at the convention. You just get to like, you walk down the hallways and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, it's you. And like, you just recognize each other. There's the internet. All of a sudden you're like, wow, we're in real life. And this is not oh my just God. an internet friend. <laughs> and like, you have your like, your own kind of close circle. Like, you know, yeah. at this point, especially like what that picture of you and me and Astro, that was 2017, correct? Yes. Yeah. So at this point, you know, we had well into solidifying like actual friendships with girls. This was the Snapchat era. Like we yeah. were so connected to one another all hours of the day, every day, you know, through our phones. Yeah. Um, we would hang out in one another's already. rooms. Like, you know, we yeah. had like, we had like, you know, one another, like our, everybody kind of had their like niches. They're like actual, like 
fucking IRL like kind of groups, but then you'd yeah. like get face to face to come around the corner and see someone that you've been like homies with for two, three years. Like, you know, this girl you've never had the chance to meet in public. And now not only do you get to hug, you get to fucking make out like right then and there. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah. And that I was also while you're cool also time. enjoying your little makeout session, you have it recorded by someone else. And now you can sell it as content. Like you have to think about this in a projection of like, we are here to have fun, but also we're still here to make money and work. Precisely. Like you're working at the conventions. Yes, you get to walk around, look at all this stuff, but you're sitting there with your laptop, Precisely. hoping the IT guy can fix your shit for you. So you have a good yeah. stream. You have people in front of you who have come to fly out to Vegas to see different girls and stuff. And they're tipping you. People are watching from all, it's, it's a, it's, oh, it's, it's a lot. It's so much fun. It was a lot. Yeah. Um, and we'll definitely get into the kind of like the con cons. Con con. Because we con con con. <laughs> we con con con. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. For Thank that. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, cool. it, it was really cool. Um, it was really, really cool. An opportunity to like see people <laughs> once a year that, you know, after you met the first year, like getting back together again, you know, the year and year and year after that or whatever that we got to do it. Um, yeah. And then Sasha, the first time we met Sasha, like she was just a girl that we were like, yeah, she's really cool to hang out with. She's one of our best friends now. Like, yeah. And we exactly. haven't seen her in four years because. Yeah. Because she lives in the UK. Yeah, um, it's a little bit more difficult. But then yeah. you have like these friendships that like stay like you they grow yeah. so much and like you have no choice but just be like, well, yeah, now we're friends forever. So too forever, bad. Forever. Yeah. Can't leave me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm going to give like, I think first I'll give a tiny recap of the year that I went on my own. Um, yeah, I want to hear just because I, I think there's some there. interesting the the progression of the uh, ABN convention and um sort of the the convention floor what things look like from 2016 when, when I went there for the first time until 2020 which was the year by the way it happens in January so uh pretty sure most of us Last actually got COVID January. and we just didn't know what it was um, oh, yeah, because obviously 2020 ended a lot of things for all of us but um when I went in 2016 like I said I did not go with any other performer friends I went with my my husband my boyfriend at the time and then um, like just a, a couple of friends that wanted to go to Vegas. So I was like, let's make a little trip out of it. And I'll actually, I'll go to this convention for like a day. I'll check it out. Um, mm -hmm. And at that point in time, the uh, hosts of the convention, I don't know who they were, but it was not MFC. MFC were not the hosts of the con at that okay. point. And the MFC girl, so like weird. the MFC presence at the convention the cam girl presence at the convention was next to nothing um we had one little booth uh that i didn't i i was so nervous i like dipped really really yeah, fast I don't believe yeah um it, the the cam girl presence was not a thing it was very 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 professional porn focused so the big huge booths in the room at the time were like bang bros brazzers porn hub um even Pornhub wasn't even as big of a player at that point. It was like the pro porn houses. The who the, was who was the like ambassador for the AVN? I at that think time. it you may remember? have it's so I, weird that honestly, it's not I think MSP. the host may have just been like it may have just been hosted by the Adult Video Network. Wow, um, weird. Yeah, and so Cam Girls a definitely at that point were niche like we're still really not a heavy hitter in the like porn industry overall it was still pretty pretty nothing um however i forgot that that year i actually did meet up with some other girls i did that i did a photo shoot with scout and Aww. a couple other individuals i got invited to meet up with like some girls that i was like kind of close with to do like a like it was just cam girls there we did like a cute little like poker night themed photo shoot just kind of just for fun That's in cute. a friend's yeah. hotel room um so that was really that was really cute and really cool that um is cute. but all in all my only real experiences were that i went to the convention found it overwhelming and then left mm -hmm. um and was approached by one person who recognized me 
who was a member cool. that had actually purchased like this little, I, I made like a piece of art or something and I mailed it to him and he brought it to the convention to have me sign it and just so happened oh, to bump into so me cute. in the hall. So, so my, yeah, my first taste of it were that uh, camera roll is kind of irrelevant um, for the most part, that the convention was very overwhelming, very porn focused. And I didn't, I don't watch a lot of porn anyway. So I was like, oh, fucking no. And so, yeah, that was 2016. 2017, we were there together. Yeah, we did not stay together. Um, no, we, we went separately. I was still friends with someone else that I'm not friends with anymore. Yeah. yeah. But we, uh, yeah, that was a really weird fucking experience, to be honest, because we had, st me and her had found an Airbnb. It was our first time going, and we just assumed that, like, it didn't really matter if you stayed at the hotel or not. And so we found an Airbnb, mm. which was, like, the scariest fucking Airbnb in Vegas. And it wasn't even the... Airbnb was that was listed. Yeah, it wasn't even the one. The pictures that they put up on Airbnb were not the pictures of the. No, yeah, it was a total scab. People... Y'all got like fucked over right away. Oh yeah, and not only that, but like they put like us in danger. There was like men filming us when we would like walk down the stairs and stuff, and it was like out on the freeway. It was scary, and so I remember yeah. tweeting and being like, "Hi, someone, please like save me and." send me uh, money so I can get an actual hotel room. I remember that I told you guys that story about the guy that told me he had cancer and he sent me this box of like stuff and yes, he sent me a bunch of money. Yes. He ended up paying for our hotel and was like, here's a thousand dollars. Like, So yeah, so he, he ended up paying for the hotel and we luckily got out of there. We ended up staying at the Westin, which was like not that far away. It was, you know. Was yeah, like that was better was, anyway. Yeah, definitely easier. And that's the year that I met that sugar daddy and went to his hotel. And that was a weird experience too. But that was also, yeah. that, that, I think that was the flow ride a year. Um, mm -hmm. I went to lunch with Jazz and had fun with her. And like, there was just like so many girls that like, you know, like I didn't know before and stuff. And I think that was like the year I clicked with like everyone. Like I was like, uh, this is also the year that, you know, going for the first time, people were like, I know you because of Tumblr. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yes, this, you by do. this point as well, 2017, we had been on the platform for a hot minute and we were like, pretty fucking cool, actually. Like, people no, like it was stuff. like having people be like, no, you know her. It's Kenzie from like Kenzie and ex girlfriend's name here yeah. on Tumblr. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh my god it's you and i'm like yeah it is yeah me, actually. <laughs> it is in fact me yeah which yeah, was, was fucking me. crazy um mm -hmm. also this was the year that you proposed to me i did i found a ring in the back of a taxi and i uh said ashley t <laughs> this time i didn't i propose to you at the cl at the club area is yeah that where we were i feel like it was like when we were yeah. at florida's concert <laughs> yeah it was you proposed to me at a florida yeah. concert I, I actually have course. proposed to you and Astro before your partners did, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, the, okay, the my favorite part about, I mean, okay, my favorite part about this year of a, of a convention was that it was definitely, like, our introduction to this is fucking sick, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I had the best time. And at this point, MFC was hosting the awards. Yes. 20, yes, by 2017, were. my free cams had gone from being a small corner booth in a hallway to still having the booth in the hallway, but also having like its own segment on the floor. And even mm -hmm. just the shift between 2016 and 2017, webcam spaces on that oh, yeah. convention floor exploded. Like we took up yeah, I'm significantly sure. more space than we had the year prior. Um, yeah, it's crazy to think about how much room we really like took over and like this posters everywhere for my free cams and mm -hmm. taxis being covered in AVN information mm -hmm. and like all these like, you know, just like billboards like shit everywhere mm -hmm. being like, they're here. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're not, we're not like simple little convention people, but we're like here to fuck shit up basically we're here to that's, fuck shit that's up. how i felt like going. we're you know we're on the map which was really fucking yeah. cool um yeah. this was also like you and i our friendship was really just beginning in a lot of ways mm -hmm. like we were getting yeah. closer um but we were we like, had only such... met one time before then that's that true it. like i hadn't even been out to vancouver yet or anything like we were just like let's no 
let's hang out. We came to your hotel room, yeah. hung out for a little bit. Uh, yeah. You left with all Was my it just stuff. me and Astra? I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so perfect avian <laughs> crisis story. All right, so here okay, wait, we go. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let me set the scene, though, because I was wearing this dress that was not a dress that was able to stay together well. It was all chain mail, basically. Like, yeah, literally it was. It was very cool. Mail. I still have, I still have all the pieces to it, which is really funny because I literally was like, "Fuck this dress! I'm going to use it for something else." Yeah. Didn't do that. Anyways, I have a dress on that's very fragile, and uh, I we get to the convention, and now when you go, we have big giant private rooms on the second floor that all the cam girls can pick and oh, choose yeah, to no. sit with their friends. Throw it back, though. Tell us the deplorable fucking conditions that they gave to us that year. Okay? We were sitting on the fucking floor, okay? Like, all these on beautiful the women dressed in fucking beautiful dresses, including my very fragile one, where if I sit down on the fucking floor, it's going to break, and it did. Yes. Yes, and, and it was like t- like red carpet on the way in. There was all yeah. this glitz and glamour going on, and then sort of the it, like the porn industry, um, you know, the professional porn, um, you know, directors, producers, performers, like they had their own kind of like sections, their own boxes. But we ended up getting brought up to, I believe, the second or third floor, which is like that's fine. We're on the second, second floor, floor, and there's the a bar, first floor and is then. The- theater like they're they're yeah. everyone, all the porn people are downstairs with like seats they have like actual and seats tables and, and bar tables yeah and, like whatever yeah and then they're we had this sort served. of just this strip of dark balcony where mm-hmm. there were no chairs on the side not even a fucking like not even a sign to be like no here you guys go we were, I like guess. shoved yeah. off in a corner and like we were all yeah. and we ended up like all sitting like on the floor with our like fucking feet like hanging off the edge so that we could peek yeah. over the fucking railing to watch the awards now mad. kenneth was not going to stand <laughs> for this all right no because i you know what i did i saw harley lott sitting at like a fucking awful bar table chair situation and i was like you know what? I'm pissed that I have no, to sit on no. the floor, but like she's a number one fucking earner on this site, and you gave her a little tiny fucking uncomfortable bar stool while she's in this beautiful dress. Like I was pissed for her too. I stood next yeah. to her and I was like, "Are you comfortable?" And she's no. like, "No." I was like, "Okay, well, I'm about to say something," and I did. Yeah. I said something fucking loud. I was like, "We should not have to fucking sit on the floor in our beautiful dresses. This is such bullshit." Like I'm just going yeah. off. I don't even know who I was talking to, but I turn around and Leo, the owner of the fucking company, is behind me, and I was like, "Leo." I want chairs. I want to sit down on a chair. I shouldn't have to sit on the fucking floor. I'm literally getting exasperated thinking about it because I was so fucking mad. Yes. And yes. let me just say that years to come after that, we have private seating for all the cam girls now. And you know what? I'm going to thank myself for that moment. <laughs> no, you get that. You get that shit because, myself uh, the credit. <laughs> the fear in that in that tiny man's eyes. Okay. I was like, the fear. You know. <laughs> Yeah. You're like, I'm about yeah. to fucking kill somebody. First of all, my yeah. half of my body is out because my fucking dress is broken. And oh, second yeah, yeah. of all, like, your goddamn fault. It's not a fucking chair, bitch. Like, what are we doing here? He was like, Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he literally brought chairs over. <laughs> I was like, Here you go. I was like, Thank you. Um, or like, Thanks for this that. Is not I enough. really appreciate it. No. Um, no. And it wasn't. But yeah, that was, that was year one. We still had the penthouse parties though did we not Mm -hmm. yes we did we had the penthouse parties and i only remember that because uh we something i can't remember what happened the first year at one of the penthouse parties but i remember oh it's because i was with the the girl that i'm not friends with anymore Mm -hmm. so we had gone together and that's why it's not really like a full Mm -hmm. memory you guys had kind of left to go do other things and then i ended up going with friend without the name to that penthouse with that sugar daddy oh right yeah okay yeah so we would so have then... been at parties together you were doing the camversity shit it was a very different time oh for, my like, god yes to... i was because that's what you left for because that like and let me let me also set the oh, scene yeah. that like when oh. i say that ashley T left with my stuff this was just a buildup of shit going on throughout the night dress broke we don't have you know like any fucking place to sit and it's just like not the vibe and then i look and ashley t and astra are just gone (laughs) gone nowhere to be seen and i'm looking around like they have 
<laughs> not only was I gone, okay, but we rewind a little bit, okay? So Kenzie is like, hey, I don't have a purse that goes with this outfit. Would you mind putting... <laughs> yeah, do you see I'm in chains right all now? All so my card, my, my debit card, my ID, every everything I need to my be... hotel room key. Person, hotel room key, whole fucking <laughs> nine yards. Would you mind if I put this in your purse? And I was like, yeah, no fucking problem. You know what happened? <laughs> open fucking bar happened okay open bar yeah. happened first and then yeah, you know and taco what bell called your name <laughs> taco fucking bell me and astra wasted as shit we're like it's time for taco bell baby let's fucking get <laughs> yeah. out of here you guys we're left like, the yeah. awards that's fucking we did. crazy we did. i mean like, i didn't have a chair i don't want to No, i get it yeah, yeah. first of all i'm like think of all the love now. to the yeah, I'm like all the love to the professional porn people, but I have no fucking idea who anybody is. <laughs> yeah, all. you're like um, I don't care about this. So I definitely am prioritizing a bean and cheese burrito over this, like mm -hmm. right now. So then we leave, and then some interference happens. We don't even end up making it to fucking Taco Bell because I ended up going over to meet some people that ended up being like a weird situation because there's a company <laughs> I was kind of working for that didn't work out. It was a whole fucking weird thing. Yeah. Um, and then I wasn't looking at my phone either, I think. And then when I was yeah, looking was at my phone, the trunk, you know, when like, I was looking know, at my phone, thinking about those things. there was a, uh, there was a highly irritated Kenneth. Well, I called you. I was like, where are you? And you were like, well, we left. And I was like, okay, well, you have all my stuff. So I kind of need and that. And I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. But you know what? Um, it's a, it's a double-sided fucking problem because, like, now we make jokes where, like, I give you something of mine to hold and you're like, nope, I'm not going to hold that for you because I just, like, I, we don't know if one of us is going to fucking leave. <laughs> sometimes Taco Bell just, uh, it calls it's sometimes name. Taco Bell. That yeah, was a fucking calling me out. Um, but it, yeah. this is so but funny. But that was actually, like, our first bonding moment, in my opinion. It was, it was the like, most, oh. like, it was such an integral part of our friendship. <laughs> I like, know. Kenneth came in with, like, the rage that, like, you have grown, like, around and out of in so many ways. And this girl mm -hmm. came in fucking hot, like, came yeah. into the hotel room more or less a breath Not away. Not like, I'm gonna being, come like, beat you up, but just, no, like, she wasn't why about to fade did me you leave me? Also, abandonment issues okay like i'm not oh, really great with that <laughs> so i was like thanks for leaving me thanks yeah but you didn't then, even you you didn't get one word out you were like no. um excuse me and i was like i'm so sorry and then you were like oh like, my god yeah yeah i was like um, don't cry i'm not that mad i was like it's fine it's fine <laughs> and then we had the that, i can't believe that was the same night where we were like okay well like everything's fine let's go to the sugar daddies what no like yeah no, why did i do that <laughs> It's fucking no. wild. Like, that's crazy no. of me. I don't... I think about the things that I used to do, and I'm like, that was your... That was crazy. I was fucked up. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, but that was year so number weird. one, and it was, like, the intro to... Oh, we'll get into penthouse parties, I think, for the next year, because that's when shit started to get fucking crazy. And yeah. the year... So, the 2017 open bar, 2018 also open bar actually so it was 2019 that they were like yeah 2018 is also the year that was like, ex girlfriend came oh yeah that's when we met sasha yes yes that makes sense wow yeah yeah weird sorry 2018 I think we're having, that like, was flashbacks. yeah i legitimate ones yeah. um 20 so 2018 we stayed together mm -hmm. yeah yes yes right? yeah yes, we, did. we did by 2018 yeah. our friendship like we had gone from like meeting each other once to over the course of 2017 and and you know into 2018 like that's when like we were fucking the homies already at this point um, yes because this 2018 is the year of tiffany it is the year of ex-girlfriend at avn's it is the year of me thinking steph is a narc <laughs> Oh my god. Yep. That was fun. That was entertaining. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Lily. Yeah, weird. Oh, there's yeah. Lily, by the way, for everyone that heard her last no, season. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. Hey, 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 I don't think so. That's enough. You're fine. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff happening in 2018. And yeah, it's really weird to think about. But it is a year that Sasha, uh, we met Sasha and a few other 
UK yeah, girls. Yeah, because she was there remember, with her other friends. I remember walking up to like these tall ass, tanned fucking British women, and one of them saying to me, "If you're from Arizona, why are you not tanned?" And you're like, I was like, you can't just ask someone from Arizona why they're not tanned. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's hot outside. We don't go outside. <laughs> like, that's yeah, not the vibe there. Um, Weird of you to ask. I think 2018 was also the year that we started to really feel like we run this fucking shit. And at this point, yeah. MFC and camming, like we had, we had really started to, it was now like a solid 50, 50, like the, the pro yeah. porn places were starting to be similar size. Like the booths, I mean, you know, if you think of a convention floor, the booths now were pretty even like Chatterbait's booth was fucking fat. Um, yeah. I think live Jasmine also like the the live streaming booths were, were, were big. Mm. Um, and the MFC girls were like, stop, stop it. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's not whoa. Okay. We're recording. I know she's got to fucking say shit. She's fine. Um, <laughs> the, the, MF, like we, we were, we were the cool girls at this point and, uh, I will toot our own horns here. So in 2017 and then also 2018 like you mentioned that you saw harley fucking lots like sitting in an uncomfortable chair okay yeah there were the we had the cool girls when we started right like mm -hmm. and man harley lots aspen ray um fuck i wish i could remember more names but it's been literally a decade, uh, so it's hard. i mean sabrina and ellie dirty pillows and fox yep yeah, and Austin White. Um, yeah, there's so like there's just so it's many just girls. So many. Had, like, like it, they were they're the they're we are OGs in our own way, but they were the fucking original bitches on those. Oh sites, yeah, okay? they were like, like the pioneers, man. They they yeah. they carved that shit out. Like they made they that really shit for us. Did. It was very different. Yeah, for, like, I saw all of them on Tumblr once again. Shout out to fucking Tumblr. But that was how I found oh. out about Cam Girls and like. Yep. Their gifts were just, I mean, once again, the one with Aspen Ray just fucking swinging back and forth into a fucking dildo. And then fast forward to you making out with her. Sorry, what? That's crazy. That's Still wild. Want to find I remember, yeah, I remember walking through, was that, what concert was that? I want to say it was like Lil Wayne. Yeah, I think it was Lil Wayne. Because I remember walking around and then seeing Aspen Ray making out with someone, and I was like, "Whoa!" That's no, it was hot. it was Kal I, it was Kalani. It was Kalani. Kalani okay. Not that it really matters, but yeah, it was the Kalani. Oh, but I just um, I just remember walking and looking to see who the girl Aspen's making out with, and I was like, <laughs> "Actually, T, <laughs> what are you doing here?" <laughs> oh my god! Um, Everyone's oh my around god. you guys filming. Everyone's like, "Whoa!" Like this is fucking yeah. wild. It was. It was hot. Yeah. Like. But then yeah. it wasn't just oh you guys, God. it was like everyone, everyone making out. Like I remember making out with Mary and all, like we finished making out marijuana and she's like, I can't believe I just made out with Kenzie. I was like, I can't believe I just made out with Mary. <laughs> like it wasn't that, and that was the thing. It was impressed. like yeah. We were all just like, yeah. Wow, thanks. I can't believe this is happening right now, right? Like Can I know, say something and like, crazy though? Yeah. Do you remember the girl that peed <laughs> in the middle of the fucking party? Who the fuck was that? I'm not even gonna drop names. I don't know who it was. I just I actually being genuinely like, don't remember. What? <laughs> like someone what peed a little bit. Like, they pissed to make content, but they splattered girls around them. Also, if you're listening to it, oh, you're the girl right. that peed. Consent, baby. It's important. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let people know that you're gonna pee on the floor sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If anything, that's what the title of this episode is going to be called. <laughs> let people you know if you're going to take a piss. You're going to be on the floor. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Really, really I mean, wild. like, go piss, girl, but like, <laughs> consent. Do it. Yeah, consent. It's yeah, actually really consent. funny to think about, too, because later on, Astra and I, you were done. This is the year of, of Tiffany. You were, you had, you had fallen and you couldn't get up. If you would like to tell this quick story, because it's oh, man. hilarious. Holy fucking shit okay i need to i need to give the people a uh, listening a moment to truly understand the scope of a penthouse at the hard rock okay you yeah. see thing like a penthouse hotel room you'll say oh it's got a really nice view no bitch this place was thousands and thousands of square foot okay you we walk didn't even in care about the view there was no view the view was the inside oh my god <laughs> yeah so you walk in and there is a 
fat room with a full bar, like a huge, mm -hmm. huge bar, massive amount of space. And then like a hallway that led into another fat, huge amount of space. There were multiple yeah. bedrooms, multiple living rooms, like probably seven Merch or eight everywhere. bedrooms in this place. Merch fucking yeah. everywhere. Um, m multiple bars, uh, mm -hmm. a pool in the room. Yeah, a hot tub in the middle of the fucking room and then a hot tub outside as well. And yeah, there was like an over bathtubs. overhanging pool, bathtubs everywhere, and just like yeah. and again, these were Food, these were merch, private parties. Like, yeah, you yeah. couldn't get in unless you were MFC, and you had to be a girl. Yes. like it's just a yeah, part of their exactly, thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You had but to be they a girl have security. and you had to be either a girl or uh, obviously an investor or a business partner if you were dudes, because mm -hmm. there were dudes there. Oh yeah, hundred um, percent. That's a whole other and... shady portion of some shit that yeah. went on because there were that but we'll, you know we'll get the fucking the fucking cool ass fucking security guards were great though yeah like, I do remember, yes. I can see their faces in my head and I'm like thank you for your yeah service. no we loved them <laughs> um yeah great great guys. definitely thank you for your service they were like they're like oh my god like all these hot girls and then with, in two seconds they were like oh my god all of them are so disgusting why are you guys yeah, like, like this yeah um, they were like the best oh. way though all right well yeah I'll be and here actually i think that like it's kind of an important note though is that when i talk about the changing landscape physical landscape of the convention floor there was some contention because the professional porn girlies and prof like there was male talent there as well like but the the pro porn they were definitely more put together you know if you think about pro porn castings they had to look certain ways they had to fit certain yeah. criteria like you know it's a totally different industry than ours and we brought a element of trash that was not taken well at first there was some tension Crimey girl there. era yeah. yeah yeah and we we brought yeah, that and did. it was not exactly well received for the first i think that 2017 year like pre-2018 there was yeah. a there was a little bit of a tension i think yeah, yeah um I did, I you know as agree. we sort of came into our own um but yeah no we were degenerates yeah well i'm and sure for so a lot of the fun. porn stars and stuff like having this convention that's like primarily for them that's not even like the brand setting it up is not even mfc so like all of a sudden everything flips and it's all about the cam girls i'd be pissed off too i'd be like Why i would are be all pissed too here like they're not yeah. even doing porn but they want to like say they're sex workers it, it was probably a very yeah. weird time for all the yeah. porn stars i would imagine that yeah it took a lot of attention away from them and it you did. know it was if you're not able to adapt and be like okay well maybe i should start camming too you're not yeah. like it's it's a hard pill to swallow i wouldn't i wouldn't yeah. be surprised like yeah so and i mean the, the, there was the... a lot of animosity yeah, and there were, you know, it was it was subtle. Like, I there was no like beef. There was no like beef. There was just like no, a, it, there was an atmosphere for sure. Just clicky in its own way. Like yeah. it just was like yeah. we don't really like even when we were all lining up to go into the awards and stuff. You'd have all the we're all in the same room waiting to get in, and you can also I think there's also like you saying earlier that that the ball gowns was like a thing. I don't I don't rem really remember seeing any girls that were just cam models wearing like ball gowns like some of them really dressed yeah, we, up very nicely but like compared to the porn people they were like mm, suits and ties full ball gowns very like extra nice. because they could like, yeah but like yeah, we were kind of still awesome. in a place of like let's wear short dresses and like still party club kind of vegas vibes yeah. not like but trash so yeah exactly so we didn't really have yeah. that full like let's we be, also like, had sophisticated. there was one award dedicated to cam models we got one award and it was best best cam girl um and then they later introduced best cosplay cam girl i know the right. last year that we went there were two categories um yeah. but the rest of it was all it was sort of like we were crashing their party in some yeah. ways also we were not invited to walk the red carpet for the for 2017 2018 yeah um yeah. i know in later years we were i think we just chose not to yeah um, yeah we didn't i didn't care we didn't we didn't fucking care yeah, like it wasn't a big no, deal I'm, for I'm sounds we took yeah. our own pictures <laughs> we didn't yeah, need exactly. to go on the red carpet and i think also yeah. there's like a level of respect i'm not a porn star i don't i don't yeah. 
like they're not going to know who I am even if I'm mm. nominated for best cosplay like they might not know yeah. so like it it's yeah. just not it's not really necessary I know that they're like you know I, I just saw yeah. a lot of girls go on the red carpet now and like it's a thing now yeah. where like the cam girls are yeah. going and that's awesome I'm glad that Oh, yeah. You know, they have a space to go and have nice pictures taken yeah. of them, too. But at the time, it wasn't. Yeah. We just didn't care. Yeah. We also no. might have been really drunk. Um, so <laughs> also that, you know, and I mean, like, yeah. the other thing is that the, that the, you know, the the pro talent, the pro performers, they also I mean, it was like modeling, like you had to go to casting. Yeah. You had to kind of to look a certain way. And one of the most amazing things about webcamming is that you didn't. Like yeah. we, we became professionals. I mean, like looking fucking hot is definitely a plus, but like we didn't have to look a certain way or be cast into like a certain sort of thing. Like there, we didn't have to submit a picture and be judged on appearance on whether or not we were allowed to, to cam on the site. Um, yeah. And so there was definitely like cam girls. We were like, for the most part, like, we looked we looked and acted quite differently um yeah. it created an some interesting would say that the uh, porn stars some would say that the porn stars were uh professionally hot <laughs> like they legitimately now those girlies were great. <laughs> yeah if you're thinking about what that might look like yeah they they, they yeah. were fucking so stunning oh my god yeah, yeah just Jesus beautiful and so were we but like dresses. different like so different yeah like they were yeah so i mean i remember wearing like the, the outfits that i wore were not ones that like like I had that spark, like my sparkly dresses, sparkly dresses, dresses. <laughs> but like the it's very different style. And like even yeah. you, like you did Tiffany one year, which was your alter ego, and it was fucking amazing. Yeah. And like we just were representing in a different way. It wasn't like totally different realm. Plus, we didn't yeah. have any fucking awards to win, so it didn't really have the same effect. Yeah, for us. We yeah, were, like, we were sort of just there to like be. And bored. we didn't know if we were gonna sit on the fucking ground or not. So why would we wear super yeah, nice exactly. dresses? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But we didn't have to. We got beautiful um, chairs to sit in in our own areas, which did. was amazing. Our own private booths, which was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and we were above everything, so like we had good. You had good views no matter what, and yeah. you could leave whenever you wanted to. Uh, yeah. It wasn't like you know, it's. It was just easy no. to be there at like you know at precisely the, in the last couple of years, and fun. Yeah, yeah. You got drunk, you got to eat some food, and then you got to go to the after parties. And that really was. The, like the vibe like that was where it was at yeah yeah and if you stayed after the after parties they would order a shit ton of room service and like they i think would. a lot of yes. the girls like not to not i'm i give the girls props but obviously like you know you have the owners of the company and there's some sexual stuff possibly going on with some cam models and you know you might yeah. get cam star that week which is great i love that couldn't do it myself because i just didn't really care but yeah. You you either stay because you're like I'm trying to get more out of my like the industry and my I'm job networking and stuff, or you yeah exactly or you stay because they're gonna order free food for they're you free food <laughs> and that is why yeah. I stayed I, I was like yeah. yes I'm definitely staying for that thank you so much yes, like absolutely and you just like we were we were somewhat tight with the owners so it was easy like we weren't like just randoms and not that there are randoms but like we we we, we made friends with Leo and. Andrew and all of them because and Alex because of you like you had more of a yeah. opening friendship with them and after that it was just easy like I remember we we yeah. went one year and I forgot <laughs> I forgot to send in my request to be uh at the awards and get my free thing and I was just I just immediately called I thought I was talking to Leo and I called mm -hmm. she gave me their number and I was like Hi Leo, I need you to come upstairs and get me in because I, I they they can't find me. I just said like straight up that they couldn't find me, and it was actually Alex on the phone. <laughs> I now like, I have to preface this. I have to preface this by saying, because I think it is important mm -hmm. to say, the people that own porn sites i the only site i really know about is my free camps okay the individuals that own these sites not good people <laughs> not good people okay not great um in so <laughs> many ways and we could go on a whole fucking expose on this maybe we'll do an episode on that one because that would be uh pertaining to some current events big time and we can't um, get fired anymore so <laughs> no i can't fight well mm, uh not from we're not talking about the other sites <laughs> 
No, we're not. We're just talking about OC. <laughs> we would never um, talk shit. <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing about meeting the owners in person um, was that it became very obvious that bullying them was effortless. Mm -hmm. um, what you would think of like these like extraordinarily wealthy, like very potentially powerful, like what push overs. Oh my God. Absolute push yeah, I mean, overs. Genuinely me, afraid of at Leo. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, he was actually they afraid of you. Be. Yeah. Um, I took one for the team and gave Alex uh, alcohol poisoning one year that um, still stands as one of my greatest achievements of all time. Sorry, Alex. Nice. Really. Um, no. And uh, you know, it's just, it was an opportunity, I think, to see them in person, but also to just bitch at them. And they just, like, kind of took, took it. it. But the and interesting like, thing was they took it and, like, ran with it. Yeah, and then they'd be like, so what's, what's the highest number that you've been on the website? <laughs> You're like, I don't fucking want to talk about this, Leo. I'm not here like, to work I don't right talk about that. I'm here to get I'm drunk. Like, yeah, so why are we and I'm like, you're work? stupid fucking... Okay, so you decided that you decided on, I'm sure, some fucking drug-induced binge epiphany that it would be a good yeah. idea instead of paying us more on the platform to produce 10,000 fucking giant plastic buttons that make the token sound. You absolute yeah. idiots. We don't want this shit at all. Thanks. Just pay us more. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the three different pens that say my free cams on them. I'm really glad I have that now. And then Honestly, though, the lip color they gave us lip glosses or uh, like liquid lipsticks one year those things fucked dude those were so good i don't remember those i just have yeah they were like chargers now yeah the disposable chargers that was clutch we used the fuck out of mm -hmm. those for sure and the yeah. lighters i actually but still just, have mfc lighters in my house yeah like we just didn't i don't know there was so much brand stuff that was like this is cool in retrospect but then like also maybe give a discount to the members or like maybe pay us yeah. a little bit more or Just like make sure more. that like there's yeah make do some updates to the website <laughs> maybe make it look like maybe. it wasn't built in 1995 yeah um, i would appreciate that anyway, yeah uh point is that like having them as a point of contact was interesting mm -hmm. um it was interesting to kind of learn from them and in the moment it was like oh my god like it's really cool talking to the owners like this is kind of neat and then you know as time has gone on it's been a little bit it's it's, it's stranger now in retrospect um in some ways yeah. but at least at the time that it was it was a great opportunity to uh be able to like bitch at them to their faces and then they just couldn't find a way to like politely excuse themselves so we could just sort of keep going um yeah. and then eat the free food like within the same breath being like by the way like this sucks this sucks this sucks and have you ordered yeah. pizza yet <laughs> yeah look can you supply oh, us with sorry. some more things please yeah i'll be in the hot tub thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah yes exactly also, i don't think like, i've ever got... been like i think that was like my those are that was like my 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 cuntiest moments actually i think i did quite well for myself i love that for you I yeah really me too because yeah me too. we got what I brought we the wanted, energy where I mean. it was due yeah and i think yeah. like having being tiffany that one year really like pushed it like i feel like you were like oh god I have to explain in bitch. some ways. Yes. Uh, I decided to make a dominatrix alter ego that wore a blonde wig whose name was Tiffany. And this was like kind of funny I for one her. second. But then when I had to do it in real life, I actually thought that I was going to pass away. Um, yeah, you however, were nervous, but you, I you was shitting my pants. It. You were mothering. Yeah, I did. I, yeah. I, mothering was mothering at that moment. You were really um, good. Okay. I have also, I'm having a memory. You, yeah. Oh, cursed images. I mean, same with me, too, um, but, like, some Tiffany ones that just, like, really oh my God. <laughs> are great. Yeah, the just wig glue memory. just, like, coming off. Um, I have I have a bunch of memories of, like, 20, I think 2019 and 2020, a lot of it kind of blurs together because at this point, um, we were long established on the site. There were a lot of girls that were at AVN that had been there, like, on the platform maybe, like, a year or two um, mm -hmm. I think at this point, some of like the OGs as we had known them were either no longer coming to the convention at all, or they might make an appearance at the awards. But like yeah. at that point, we had taken um, sort of like the spot as like established, you know, kind of respected uh, cool girls on the platform. A lot of people knew who we were, which was yeah. fucking so cool. It felt so like, well, oh, that was crowds. Really cool. The crowds around us when we were camming and stuff was just like it was mm -hmm. crazy like you had so many people yeah. just like and they knew who you were yeah. so 
Yeah. They did. Was, they absolutely wow. did. And um, this was when this was, I think, the peak of having our members come through as well. I think it's important to talk about what it was like to meet meet our homies in in real life. You know. Yeah. Because was that great. was really fucking special. Fun. No, it was. Yeah. And they just, yeah. like, were such good... I mean, like, you'd be like, oh, I need some water or something. And they'd be like, I'll go get something for you. Or, like, film for you. Yeah. Or just, like, take pictures or whatever. And, like, just be there just as support, hang out. like, in person. Yeah. yeah. I just, like, I miss yeah. going... Or, like, standing they... on their phones fucking tipping us while we're at the booth. I'm like... Well, one of my funniest fucking memories, and I bring this up to TL all the time, is that he was standing literally not even five feet from me. And he's tipping me. And I know who he is. And I know who this person is online. But I'm saying thank you to the internet version. And then also, I think Poob or someone was like, you know, that's TL, right? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, oh, who, yeah. what, the guy in front of me right now? Oh, like, I, God, I get, yeah. I'm tearing up thinking about it because it's so, like, sweet to have those, like, moments of, like, realizing, like, oh, yeah. like, you're here in person. And, like, I don't know, it's just different and really yeah. wholesome and I miss the boys yep. and being at the Me bar too. with Poob and like having Jaeger shots and trying to yeah. get him to fucking talk to me. <laughs> yes, him. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it, it, people might have, especially people that like don't really get it. It might, mm -hmm. they might have preconceived notions about what it would be like to meet, you know, oh, this campsite member with all of the like stereotypes that, you know, I'm sure people put place on them meeting you yeah. know, these girls that they tip to do like sexual things like this has to be creepy for it's the girls vibe. or whatever. Like it's a strange foundation, but in yeah. person it was like hanging out with your like we we're just hanging out with our friends. Yeah, like and um, not, also not traumatizing them in the process, I think like <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And not to say that there weren't like this is not it's hard to say, but like the cam members that we had for the most part were great. I can't really say yes. anything bad about, we share a lot of the same people. We know a lot of the mm -hmm. same people, but that's not to say that there weren't issues within the industry yes, and that there were. weren't creeps and there absolutely were. people that were not, you know, that were being with, no. I mean, we, we had one of the girls come and stay with us because she ended up yes, staying with someone who only got one bed and it was like, that's yeah. not safe. Like, you know, you no. had, we, we weren't, uh, there was a point too for all, for us where we were like, okay, you know what? Let's not have our room be the, like the main meeting room because we were inviting yeah. a lot of people back. And as much as we wanted to be like an open space and be like, yeah, we're all friends. Our safety is still number one priority. Yep. Number and one. we were just like, yeah. you know we what? Met in, we met in public be... places and, and that yeah. was that, right? Like, yeah. you know, there has to still be that. some separation. And I know that there were perform like there were cam girls that went sort of with the whole intention of them being there, mostly being spending time like with their groups of members, especially outside of the convention um, and things got real messy real fast. You know, you include a lot of alcohol, you include a lot of whatever. Yeah. And, you know, without the screens separating you, you know, when you're in, in sort of in this very real, you know, dynamic happening real time right like the things that were comfortable and safe online are suddenly there's no holds bar and things can get messy real fucking quick yeah yeah i think a real lot of the boundaries quick. are blurred because you're in person now and it's like well we're in vegas we're all having fun but there's it's still a yeah. level of respect that we would give the members and stuff um mm -hmm. so let's think 2017 mm -hmm. first year of us being together there we have flow mm -hmm. rider second year ex-girlfriend weird weird moments just like yeah. doing a lot of random Made out with shit. Aspen Ray. Yeah, 2019. Um, we stayed with Chloe Rose, yeah. Cardi B. Um, I got mm -hmm. fucking... Oh, music video. How could we forget to talk about our oh, fucking yeah, the Lil Wayne music moments. video. Yeah, that, that was, was cool 2018. 19. Wait. Yeah, 18. No, 19. It gets... it. It's... It's I so have blurry. Like, uh, uh, my, yeah. my brain cells brain damage. Yeah, up. they were blurry um, memories. Yeah, and then fast forward to 2020, our last fucking year. I think we need to dive into that because our episode's already an hour and 12 minutes. <laughs> but this I think 2020 huge. really sends it home, and that like you know it was our it was our last time without it being a choice. Like it wasn't like yeah. we had decided like okay we're not going to go again. We had. We, you had made an effort to be like, I don't want to be there anymore. I don't think I can do another year. But because of COVID, there was no decision making on many well, people's process. 
No. For me, however, I had retired December of 2019. Yeah, Yeah, you were like... And 2020 was my send-off. Like, that was... I knew for myself that that was going to be the last year that I would go. Yeah, Um, and I think a lot of people were just over it. Like, it was was exhausting, and and it was a lot of things that... Plus, like... I keep thinking, I I always go back to this. I think about the fact that like I had spent six months with you guys and having to go from like knowing that I was going to Vegas and that was my last time that I was going to like be with you guys every day kind of thing fucking yeah. killed me. Like I was destroyed. I was yeah. crying every day. I was like acting out, just like not, not able mm-hmm. to like be it present and I didn't work at all. Mm-hmm. I was just like a mess. Kobe fucking died and all those people that fucking wrecked me like I don't even watch basketball but I was just destroyed by like multiple things happening and then all of a sudden yeah. commercial or news reports about some new sickness is coming out I remember Astra being like what is that She's like is that zombies I was like I don't fucking know like I really don't know because mm-hmm. that'll be the cherry on top of this fucking trip right now is that there's a zombie attack in Vegas so I was like I just don't know I didn't mean to scare her but I just had no fucking answer yeah we, we had so no idea exhausted and yeah. I remember that last fucking night, everyone is literally sitting around me. I finish on the phone with my mom. I'm like crying and I'm just like having a fucking meltdown because I'm like, I'm not going to see them for a while. I don't know why, but like yeah. things are changing. And then I didn't see you guys for a year and a half. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay, why did I say yeah. that out loud? I was like, I, I didn't think that was going to happen, yeah. but like, holy fuck. So I that... Know. That last trip was like very special, but it was also it disaster was. mode for myself. Like, I, it was. I don't and think I went one day without crying. I also think that this was the year. This was definitely our. I can't say our age was showing, but in some ways, it. I, I think that is the case. Like, the years prior, I think I was much more. Uh, I, like I was just used to partying really hard. Yeah, I've got um, free ball on it, not gonna lie. Like it was a very different experience. Yeah, 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 it was different. But then, you know, I had become extremely like I was having really bad issues with anxiety. I was dealing with mm-hmm. all that school shit. Like yep. there was stuff in my own life that was going on as well. Um, and at that point, like I was definitely drinking to cope with like social anxiety, to cope with yep. um just being there in general. As fun as yep. it was, um, it was like this is a lot. Um, this was also a very, I mean, this had happened a couple years prior, but more and more instances of girls having been drugged at the private model parties. Yeah, which is really um, scary because we were, it's a more private party. And a, yep. And at first, like, I fucking, I will take the L for victim blaming. The first time I heard it happen a, a year, I think it was a year prior, I was like, oh, she just got way too drunk. Like, obviously, yeah, like, at a private yeah, party. why would someone but, do that? Uh, yeah, but like what you have to remember, and it's easy to remember, you know, with rose tinted glasses, it was just, you know, all of us girls, like all together. Mm-hmm. No, there were there were men there. They were at the back and they were friends, sort of obviously investors, colleagues, friends, whatever, of the owners. But there were always some assortment, not just the security guards, but of dudes around. Um, yeah. And, and uh, that was something that I think we just we created this sense of safe space where it's Vegas, baby. Nowhere is safe in Vegas. Yeah. Well, and, and I fucking hate to say it. To be... I hate to say it, but also like women can be predators too. Like, yep. Just because yep, there were men absolutely. there. I don't fucking know who did that. I can't say it was just yep. the men. Cause like, also no. why would they fuck up their chance to be there? They're not going to be able to bring someone back from that situation. They're all with girls and stuff. So like, yeah, it could have also just been a fucking girl that like we don't know girls. and yeah. just because they're cam girls doesn't mean that they're good people and that's where that's that, that's the rose colored no. glasses for me where like you just assume yeah. that everyone is there and all thinking the same way and we all want safety and to have fun and we're just little cam girls doing our thing and we just want to make money not um, the case like and i no, learned that the hard that... way with many girls yeah. unfortunately just, yeah you know and that's the you know i think we've talked about you know, industry versus community in the past, right? But but the change in just population size of the MFC parties from 2017 when we first went to 2020, you know, yeah. there were so many more people there and yeah. things had changed on the platform a lot. Like everything had changed in a lot of ways. Except um, the website. 
<laughs> Except the fucking website. Um, God damn it, you guys. I know. Um, and uh, I think, I mean, I know for me, I was like, enough is enough. Um, also, speaking of fucking safety, at first, I was like, oh, you know what's really fucking cool is that this security guard that, like, is standing by the gates to let me into the convention, yeah, he's letting me smuggle my bag that is full of bottles of Jägermeister into the mm -hmm. convention. And I was like, oh, that's sick yeah. as fuck. And then when I think back on it, I'm like, what if I had weapons, dude? They were intentionally yeah. letting me put my bag around the metal detectors. Yeah. Yeah, like, what if you were the shitty person that wanted to, like, what hurt the people at the convention? Fuck? Right, like... So how many yeah, other and there people was were they not... doing that for? Right? Like, you, you know, if... Know. if it, it, especially since, you know, obviously everything shut down, the convention... We stopped going, and then the convention shut yeah. down for quite a few years. Um, the Hard Rock is now gone, so it's at a different hotel? Is that the... Was I somewhere think it's else. at the Hotel World thing now. But you know what? I will say for 2020, yeah. uh, I might have been a fucking emotional disaster but you were very present in my opinion it seemed like you had a lot of fun you made some good money like slapping men like you really went out with a fucking bang oh yeah and I, remember... I charged people money for slapping you did and it was, was hilarious and i remember going underneath one of the tables because we were vaping and you started crying and you were like i just like i i just like appreciate them so much and i was like girl go tell them like and you went out and you yeah. like hugged all them and you were just like so appreciative so yeah. i feel like you were very present and like you know, you're in an appre like yeah. you may have been drunk, but you were in an appreciation mindset yeah. of just like wanting to yeah. be with the guys, and you know, you yeah. just did your thing. Also, really random. Yeah. But do you remember that random guy that came and dropped off some very secretive things for us, and then took us to Taco Bell? Like, just yeah, I us. do. Yeah, I do. And I remember that his car, his car had that like speaker on the outside that yeah. you could like blast an air horn noise out of. Yeah, it was fucking random. <laughs> yeah. Remember when I used to get into strange men's cars? Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't stop doing I that remember. until 2019, so <laughs> I can't really say that I've changed don't very much. much. House now, so. um, That's fair. Yeah, I but think, yeah, and then time. my last, yeah, my last sort of like memory, and I think this leads well into sort of some closing remarks, but yeah. I remember, and this would have been 2020, I think. I remember the opening night um, penthouse party. Lydia Love, who also has a fantastic podcast and does all this other crazy shit. I'm going to have to like mm -hmm. find her shit to plug it. But Lydia Love had just turned 21 at the strike of midnight. Yeah, and she's the your whole... internet girlfriend. It was, yeah, yes, your internet girlfriend, exactly. And, like, the mm -hmm. whole room just went crazy. And there was a photo taken that, like, ended up turning into a meme for a little while. And, like, on one hand, it was like, holy fuck, this is, this is so sick. And then, you know, at the same time, on the under, other hand, it's like, damn, man. Like, if we were, I was 20, uh, 28 the last year. Yeah, I was 28 in January of 2020 because I turned 29 in February. Um, right. you know, if I think about the amount of like just life experience and also like trash experience that I had developed over my twenties, you know, mm -hmm. to think about, you know, newbies to the cam scene that have all this history of AVNs being like, that's what I'm doing this year. Like, yeah, keep your fucking heads about you, baby girl. Like it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's a lot. And mm -hmm. it can be super fucking sketchy if you're not keeping your eyeballs all the way open. Also, yeah. um, just to remind everyone, if they continue to do penthouse parties often in penthouses, uh, there are staircases actually um, in these in these penthouses. Sometimes they're just like two or three steps that lead from one room to the other. So uh, if you happen to see someone from across the room that you want to talk to and you're very drunk, I advise very strongly um, in not running. Watch your uh, step. <laughs> because you may, you may in fact miss the stairs and then pitch forward and land onto marble flooring with both of your knees just first <laughs> onto the floor. Can I also just say, I remember hearing everyone go, oh, and then I'm not tall enough to see 
<laughs> over the crowd. So I look at one of the other girls and I'm like, what just happened? She's like, Ashley T just fell. And as a true friend, I just busted out laughing. Like I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I was just like, okay. I, shit, yes. dog. And I was so drunk. I didn't even feel it. But then you did it morning, right next to Leo too. And then we, when we got to the elevators, you go, I ruined it all. <laughs> I said, no, you didn't. I was like, if anything, you just made yourself so much more well known. <laughs> it's like, you didn't ruin shit. Cause I think you thought yeah. in the moment that you like embarrassed yourself beyond made belief. And that, like, you know, they were going to, like, not want you back. But if anything, it just made people be like, we love her so much. Oh, my God. That's actually really on brand. She would fall down a flight of stairs <laughs> in the middle of a penthouse No, party. no, but I'm sorry. It's not a flight of stairs. It's two steps. <laughs> it's two steps. You slipped. Two steps. <laughs> I, I, you know what, though? I, I, didn't, I didn't slip. I ran <laughs> off. Like she off levitated the off of it. Let, just yeeted forward and <laughs> smashed my fucking knees onto the floor. Yeah. Oh my god, they were so swollen. It was gnarly. yeah. Your knees were bruised for like days afterwards. It was it was mm -hmm. it was bad. But you know what? So much fucking fun. I can't even say that like they like as much as the emotional parts were hectic and like thinking you know like you're you're so drunk that you're taking everything personally. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is oh, yeah. you're like that's mean <laughs> like well, I, i'm not thinking in that way and it's everyone like i remember walking past mm -hmm. girls in the convention center and like they you know they, you actually you see you see them they don't see you and so you say hi and they don't say hi back and you're like they hate me <laughs> like they like, hate me the yeah. only possible outcome is that they hate you and then you see them five minutes later and they're like oh my god hi so like and you're like oh just, they don't hate me yeah, no. So, like, don't take things... My advice is don't take things personally while you're there. Stay fucking safe yeah. because people... I have, The amount of girls that I have saved from talking to yeah. random guys that aren't in the convention, just on the outside of fucking Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, if you book a hotel room for four, make sure you have two beds. Do you oh, remember? yeah, also that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Would you like also to tell that. that quick story before we finish out? Uh, fucking TLDR is that we booked like two conjoining fucking rooms and then when we got there they were like oh we can't make guarantees that they'll even be together and I was like that's why we book conjoining rooms you fucking pains in the asses and then when they put us into a room there was literally only one bed and a pull out couch and we were like fuck this fucking shit and at this point it was 2020 and I was fucking first of all unmedicated bipolar but also actually kind of balling for the first time in a long yeah. time um, yeah. and so we ended up having to get another hotel room which was sick as fuck but like but also hilarious sure because we were like, you know what? Like... Fuck this. We're going to take the mattress off the bed and put it in the living room to make one giant bed. Yeah. But we took like, we the you know, double mattress. So like it was the box spring and the mattress. And we were like, fuck it. We'll just put it on the floor. Didn't put it back. Ran to the Venetian the next day and said, fuck you, Hard Rock. Yeah. Which is like perfect because after that, the Hard Rock closed. So it was like, it was just yeah. opportune times of being like, you know, as we left, so did the rest of it. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Yeah, gonna as, you know, as it was, right? It definitely, as yeah. we left, the, the the AVN convention and awards, as we had known it, had come to an end. Um, mm -hmm. And now, you know, we're not, there was a sense of nostalgia, I think, in the in the weeks leading up. It was like, oh, man, like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You get a little phone going. Like, like, I, I miss the girls. Yeah. I miss the guys. Yeah. But it's. In no way will it ever be the same as the four years that we experienced together. It just won't. Or four years? Yeah, I guess it was four. 2017, 18, yeah. 19, 20. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, it just won't. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be the same. I don't think we would have the same experiences. The hard rock's not there anymore. Yeah. So, like, having that, like, comfortability of knowing the hotel, knowing where you were going. Knowing that if you were going to go downstairs by yourself, you knew you were going to see other cam girls. How many times did Astra, in her drunk era, go downstairs by herself and go to hang out with people and then come back up blasted? And then hit my fucking weed pen <laughs> like you just you couldn't do that in other hotels that like i don't know no. it's just there was a sense of security of safety yeah. you knew you would find other girls we knew all the girls now there's all these babies in the industry i don't know anyone anymore yeah no so, the like, next gen is times, is here yeah. you know and which like i and give I'm them support. That, yeah oh yeah it's yeah their they'll turn. carve out their own thing but it's their yeah. turn and and we had a blast when it was ours for sure yeah, the only way I would ever go back to AVN is if we were podcasting AVN style. Like if we were, if there was some sort of like, because they have a they have a adult podcast award, and I'm like, 
well, yeah, we have an adult podcast. So that would be the only reason. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that I actually want that to happen because that comes with a lot of other territory. But if it did, that is the way I'd be like, okay, well, I'll go back to AVN for a couple of days just for that. Not to go do all the yeah. fucking insane partying because I my body literally can't handle it anymore. But there's something that's yeah. like, well, but what, what about being in a different part of the of the industry, you yeah. know, and like having yeah. a completely different experience that we just don't know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's my that's my feelings about it. And yeah, yeah, advice. Would you like to pop off about some advice real quick for any newbies going into it? Yeah, advice real quick. The first thing I'd say is uh, make sure that you do have some sort of a buddy system set up. You know, don't Always. let your don't let your friends be wandering around on their on their own. Um, no. You know, if at all possible, make sure you're going with someone that you have at least a bit of an ongoing connection with. Right. Like it's one thing to be yeah. flying out to like collaborate with other girls. But, you know, for a buddy system to work, y'all do need to be able to trust each other quite a bit. Um mm -hmm. If you don't know yeah. anybody and you're going on your own, I would strongly recommend bringing just like an actual friend or like a boyfriend apart, like, you know, bring someone that yeah. you know you can depend on that won't mind if you just leave them for like ages on it. But make sure that you that you stick together. Um, yeah. You know, careful with how much you drink in an open bar is fucking very dangerous. And you yeah. don't want to forget the time you're there, like, you know, party, yeah. but like you don't want to forget it all. No, you want um, to be and uh, Pedialyte. Mm -hmm. Pedialyte. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, hydrate, drink water, Pedialyte. eat food, yeah. like do the things. Make sure you get sleep. Yeah. And also on the friend level, like if you are not able to bring a boyfriend or bring a friend, or you really don't know anyone, to the other ladies, look out for the girls in MFC look merch up, yeah. that are by themselves. Like it is not difficult to yeah. be like, hey, do you want to come hang out with us? Be nice. Like. Really, because that yeah. is how I've made so many friends over the years, random yeah. girls that I would have never met if I didn't see them yeah. with a group of men. And they were obviously like, the you know, the girl yeah. was fucked up. And honestly, I have yeah. one of the security no, guards come other. up to me and be like, can you go make sure that girl is OK? And I was like, absolutely. Like, yeah. look uh, out for each other. Don't be clicky. Yeah. It's not worth it. We're not in high school anymore. Be nice. All these no. girls are doing the exact nice same whatever. thing. We're all scared and anxious. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Invite yeah. girls, you know, take care of each other because yeah. they'll take care yeah. of you too. It's worth it. And yeah, we can say that as friends that have happen. been in the industry for long enough and have taken care of each other long enough. Like, yeah. it's really yeah. worth it to make new connections, yeah. to be friends, yeah. to be nice, to be Absolutely. safe. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. all I got Precisely. for you. And don't piss on the yeah. floor. <laughs> I was just about to say, don't fucking piss on the floor. <laughs> don't piss on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, don't do that. And if you're going to throw up on the floor, make sure you do it like kind of behind a pillar because I did that at one of the parties. Anyway. Yeah. Puke and um, rally, dog. Yeah, exactly. Don't wear a dress to the it's... awards that could possibly break. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. And I would like to hope that the uh, comedian that does the uh, awards now is much funnier and not racist like the ones that we experienced because those were awful. That would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was rough. Right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really, funny. I'm really impressed that Emily Lynn did the hosting this year. That was yes. Really cool oh my god, that was so that. fucking cool. Yeah, because yeah. she's one of the OGs too, and she's, yeah. you know, she, she does, she is a cam model. Like that is, I mean, in my opinion, yeah. I don't know what she would say for herself, but Emily, yeah. if you're listening, we support you and love that you got to do the fucking Girl. hosting this year. It's really fucking cool. Yeah. It gives a new yeah, name to go to from camera. like one tiny corner booth to an MFC cam girl hosting mm -hmm. the awards. Yeah, fucking it's pretty sick. fucking sick. Yeah, we've come a long mm -hmm. way. <laughs> well, well, speaking of Kenneth, uh, you want to let the people know where to find you, baby girl? You can find me at uh, Little Baby on OnlyFans or KenzieBaby.x on Instagram or Fatherfucker with that B on Twitter. Um, we also have our professionally hot YouTube that's going to have all the first season episodes, no video, yeah. obviously only just audio, but it gives you another chance to listen to us on a different platform. Obviously we're on yep. Spotify as professionally hot podcast <laughs> on Spotify podcast. and Apple podcasts. And hopefully our TikTok will have some really cute little clips from this first episode and yeah. instagram so follow us all over yeah. there and ashley t tell the people where the fuck yep. you are 
Yeah, you can find me at Hey Ashley T fucking everywhere, all platforms. And if you're looking for Twitch stuff, video game stuff, more safe for work content, you can find me at Ashley T Cozy. If you're looking for Cam Girl advice and commentary, you can look up Cam Girl Survival Guide. You'll find a Tumblr as well as a Twitter account, I believe, and an Etsy shop where I sell guides and stuff. Worth um, it. And uh, aside from that, that's that. That's us. Thanks for listening to our first that's episode us. of our second season. Thanks for watching us. If you're watching yeah, us from a yeah. YouTube page, so sorry if this episode came out glitchy. We just like our first I'm episode not. of the first season. We will be professionally hot as we go. That is the whole point. We're learning with you guys. No, it's it's what it's it is. Supposed and to be it's, trashy. It is yeah, it it's the best. It's the professionally hot yeah. podcast, and we appreciate exactly. you for listening. Yeah. Thanks, bitches. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>